Hello, I'm Pastor Glenn Curry, and I'm very excited to be able to share with you some important facts and principles about the need to praise God and the results that it will bring in your life. Praise and worship has rescued me out of a lot of trouble, I can promise you that, and has blessed me immensely. Now I want you to be rescued and delivered if you're in trouble, and I certainly want you to be blessed. In the previous a previous lesson, I don't know, I think I gave you seven or eight facts about praise, and uh, I want to continue with what I call fact number nine, okay? All right, from Revelation, the book of the Revelation, chapter 19, verse 5, God sent out a, a vital message from the throne of the universe to all of his creation. It says, and there came a voice out of the throne saying, praise our God, all you servants and you that fear him, both small and great, Revelation 9, 19 verse 5, okay? So God's telling everybody to praise him. Is it because of his ego? No, it's because that he knows that praise builds a highway that faith can roll its mighty blessings down. Are you with me? Fact number 10, I'll call this. God told the church at Philippi that they could do all things through Christ that strengthens them. They were told that my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus, amen. And they were reminded, and really I should say commanded maybe, to rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. So 11 times in four short, short chapters, there was a command to rejoice in the Lord. Some people have never even joiced, let alone rejoiced, okay? Beans, refried beans, I hope you get it. Philippians 4.4, 4, rejoice in the Lord always, amen. And so those that rejoice and praise God are those who possess supernatural strength in Philipp Philippians 4.13 and have their needs met, Phil Philippians 4.19. And so if you wanna be stronger, and you want your needs to be met in abundance, praise and worship God, praise God. Number 11, uh, as we use the word of God in praise and in thanksgiving, our faith increases because the Bible tells us, so then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. It comes out of your mouth into the atmosphere where it works, but it also comes out of your mouth into your ear drops down into your heart and then comes out of your mouth again, into your ear, into your heart, into your mouth, into your, and you create a cycle of blessing by praising the Lord frequently, amen? The Apostle Paul discovered that not only uh, praise is important, but also courage can come to him uh, because the Bible says in Acts 28 verse 15, it says, when Paul saw, he thanked God and took courage. It didn't say courage came upon him. He had to take it. And maybe there's things you need to take from the word of God. And so give thanks. Thank God. Praise God for it and take it as yours. I take my healing. I take my provision. I take my sound mind. I take the favor of God in Jesus' name. He took courage. I just like the way it said he took courage. Amen. Number 12, an important part of the Levite's duty in the Old Testament was to praise the Lord. David spoke unto the chief of the Levites and to their brethren and to be singers to God and with instruments of music, psalteries and harps, psalteries like a stringed instrument, and harps and cymbals and sounding by lifting up their voice. That's 1 Chronicles 15 verse 16. Fact number 13, David also prepared the building of the temple and he made certain that there were ample praisers and ample worshipers uh, during the construction process, the project. And so it, the Bible says, and 4,000 praise the Lord with instruments which, uh, which I made, David said. David made 4,000 instruments and then he appointed somebody to play those things. How did they even learn how to do it? I don't know. They just had to stick with it till they got it. But First Chronicles 23, uh, five says David made 4,000 instruments to praise the Lord with. And so these praisers were used in Solomon's, uh, by Solomon to, to minister to the Lord continually. 
I like that. The Bible says in First Chronicles, Second Chronicles 112, God told Solomon this, wisdom and knowledge are granted unto you. Moreover, wealth and uh, riches and wisdom will I give you. I think that's four or five things. Wisdom and knowledge are granted unto you. Moreover, I will give you riches and wealth and honor, such as none of the kings have had before you, neither shall there be like that after you. I didn't quite, quite quote it exactly, but that's what it says. And there's several reasons why God blessed Solomon. One was because of his love for praise and worship to God. And so we see the progress of first praise then increase. I gave you that verse, Psalm 67, 5 and 6, let the people praise thee, O God, let all the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield her increase, then God, even our own God will bless us. I gave you that on a previous uh, message. But we see the process. First praise, then wisdom. First praise, then knowledge. First praise, then riches. First praise, then uh, wealth. First praise, then honor, praise God. Uh, one more fact, I think. Uh, fact 14, I'll say. After years of idol worship, King Hezekiah came and cleansed out the temple. He restored true worship to Israel. And, and not only did he restore the priesthood and the sacrifices and stuff, but he restored the praise and worship to God. Second Chronicles 29, 25, it says and that, that King Hezekiah uh, set Levites in the house of the Lord with cymbals and psalteries, stringed instruments, with harps, and all the congregation worshiped, and, and all the singers sang, and all the trumpeters sounded. I guess they trumpeted. And then it says, and they sang praises with gladness, and they bowed their head and worshiped God. And verse 30, 21 says, and the Levites and the priests praised the Lord day by day and sang with loud instruments to the Lord. And in the next few chapters, we see tremendous blessing on their life. Why? Because first praise, then increase. God increased them. Saints, I'm Pastor Glenn Curry, and I speak the blessing and increase into your life. And I, as you push into praise and worship, more and more increase is going to come into your life. I have more facts and stuff to share with you, which I'll be doing that, those on other videos. But for today, I just tell you, I love you. If you would, please subscribe below, like below. If you have a comment, make that blessings to you as you worship and praise the Lord. God bless you.